and we're in focus and we're running. This is a non-railway video, but wait, don't click away. I promise you it's about music and numbers and spreadsheets. So that's kind of fun. Stick around. Just a quick five minute fun video, which I meant to do over Christmas, which is when this thought occurred to me and then Christmas got in the way and I forgot. So I'm just doing it randomly now on a Friday afternoon, like you do. This pertains, well, you've seen the title in the video already, to popular music. And when did you fall out of touch with popular music, which is a question that I found myself asking the other day when I stumbled upon this old tweet from December 2015. Test your age, I said. How many of the now 92 tunes can I actually hum? Me, only three out of 46. Oh dear. Now that is from 2015, but this came around again uh, because every time I've been in an HMV and I found a now CD, oh now, by the way, stands for now that's what I call music, which is a compilation which has been running uh, well, this is now seven from 1986. I think they started in now. That's what I can music one. Well, I think it was from 1984 or five. It goes years back. Tell me in the comments if you've collected every single now album. But what it does is that they take all the popular tunes that have been in the charts, the hit parade, the top 10 over the last few weeks or months, and then put it onto one compilation album. And what it is, it's a really good metric. It's a way of telling how in touch you are or not with popular music. For example, if I look at the track listing of all these songs that are on Now 7 Now, I can hum all these songs. I remember these from my teenage years. Uh, sadly, I was in an HMV in December 2022, just last month. Uh, I think it was Now, I put the up to, Now 113, and I went down and I knew like none of them. And I was like, I don't know any of these songs. And that made me feel very middle-aged and old. So, I came up with a fun game. This is a fun game I've been playing for the last couple of years anyway, uh, ever since I started doing this, looking at CDs and HMV. I mean, it went from vinyl to CD. Do people even buy compilation CDs anymore? No, you just stream songs. Do you, If you buy a compilation, you just buy it in your iTunes, right? Whatever. Okay. Here's the fun game, a fun game which I did and which I encourage you to do, although there's a small caveat which I will mention in a minute. Basically, I discovered that now that's what I call music. The company, the now compilation people, had a website with uh, an archive and track listings of all the CDs going back 30, 40 years. And I suddenly thought, well, hang on. If I do what I've done in that tweet, uh, go down and see how many songs I know or don't know, I'll get a good idea over time you know, when I was in touch with music and then when I wasn't with, in touch with music. So at what point did my knowledge start to slip and slide and demise? And I wanted to see when that point was. So I came up with this system, which is this. Uh, you read down the track listing of the compilation album. If you know the song, like you could hum it in your head. You're like, yes, that's a song I definitely know and love. And if it came on the radio, I'd be like, I know this song. Award yourself two points. However, if you've never heard of the song, but you do know the artist, you're allowed to award yourself one point. And if you've never heard of the song or the artist, it's zero points. Do that for every single track on every single Now album. And that's the caveat I wanted to mention, because if you choose to do this, and I do recommend you do this because it's fun, uh, it will also take about three to four hours of your life to navigate your way through the Now uh, website and then work this out for every single track on all their albums and I put all that into a spreadsheet a spreadsheet with the now albums in the left hand column the year it came out and then scores of twos and ones going across and I totaled it all up now I should point out that uh, yeah back you know in now eight days there were 32 top chart hits uh, in now 92 uh, days there were 46 chart hits so the number of total number of tracks on every album over the year has changed has varied slightly, I admit, but you still get a good feel for when, you know, you knew all the songs as to opposed to now. So when you don't know all the songs uh, and I did this twos and ones for every year, it, it took ages, like I say, about three to four hours. Uh, and I came up with a couple of uh, fun things before I show you my final graph. Uh, the closest I got to knowing everything, i.e. two, 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 going all the way across was now 10 from 1987. There are only two songs on the album that I can't hum, but I do know the artist. So it was a complete set of twos and ones. Um, now that's what I call music 101 in 2018 was the first time, so depressing, that I had no twos at all. So I didn't know 
any of the songs in 2018. I'd heard of some of the artists, so I scored some points, but I didn't know the songs. That happened again in 2021 with now 110, and most recently, which is what prompted this video, uh, in 2022 uh, with now 113. I realised I couldn't hum a single song. Um, I think that's really sad. <laughs> um, here is my graph on screen. You can see that it's somewhere in between 2005 to 2010. I think it was when I was 33 years old in 2007 that the dip, the slide, started to come in. Uh, and I'm grateful at the moment that at the moment I'm still at least identifying some of the artists. Um, it's always fun, by the way, when you look at like CD1 and CD2 on those compilation CDs. On the left are all like the regular tracks. It's song title and artist. The right hand side is what I call the collaboration side. It's like a, always like a dance track and it's like name of song with so-and-so featuring someone. Typically, I know none of those whatsoever because it's just people I've never heard with. Uh, it's always in that left hand column that I've heard of songs and artists. I am dreading the day that I pick up or I see the track listing for a now compilation CD and I scan down it and I score nothing. Because at least at the moment, you know, you might get the odd cold play in there, right? But when there's a CD with zero recognition on the artist, I think I will, I, I don't know what I'll do. That's when I will just give up on music completely. So there we go. Uh, at the same time I publish this video, I will put out a tweet uh, with a picture of my graph and my spreadsheet as well. If you want to do this, and I do warn you, it does take three to four hours, that's great. Then reply to that tweet with your own scores and try and work out for you at what point, you know, were you in touch with music, in touch with music, and then it started to slip and then boom, slide. And what would be really interesting is that uh, if you're, say, in your teens or 20s, your graph might might do that. It might be like nothing, 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 and then you might, well, it might go up. Or if you're older than me, if you're in your senior years, uh, you might know nothing at all ever. You might just have this, like, flat line graph. Or... Are you a show off? Can you be like, no, Jeff, I stay in touch with all popular music and have done my entire life. And your graph is up here and it's like totally like on the money and you know all the songs ever. It just would be fascinating to see that variation and see some of your different graphs. So if you do wish to do it, uh, I'm not telling you you have to, but if you do, it does take a couple of hours, maybe four out of your day to go through all the track list listings. Like I say, two points for the song, one point for the artist. I'll leave you with my graph on screen and the point in 2007 when I started to lose touch with popular music. That's it. Thanks for watching. Reply to my tweet. Bye.